Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on S3. And here's the thing. When you think about Jamaica, just very quickly, Jamie Lee, what do you think about? Give me a couple of things. Obviously, Bob Marley is one of them, right? Yeah, so, oh, what same else? Bolt, How Stella Got a Groove Back, Ooh. Jerk Chicken, oh. uh, Plantain, all of that. But you know, we got somebody here that'll give us the deeper meaning of the other things, like the national anthem and like the flag. There's so much to know about Jamaica. And the Caribbean sun might be a good option for those who like the vacay. Stella Got a Groove Back. Yeah. Uh, but today, it's all about Jamaica. And we're connecting with our tour guide, Errol Bowen from Travel Jamaica Tours, to tell us a bit more about this beautiful country. Errol, welcome. Welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. How are you doing? There we go. We're good. Errol, so good to be able to connect with you this morning. As you can see, the entire studio is lit up. We have the Jamaican flag all over. And that's actually what I wanted to uh, touch on first. It's very simple, very striking as well. Tell us a bit more about the flag. Tell us about the colors and what it represents. All right, the colors of our, of our Jamaican flag, which uh, it is the black, the green, and the gold. The black represent the people, they're resilient in their struggle. The gold represent the beauty and its sunshine. And the green represent the agriculture and the greenness of our, of our, of our, of our beautiful island. That is so beautiful mm. to think about the colors of a flag representing the energy of a people, which is so beautiful. Errol, before I get to my next question, what time is it in, uh, on your side at the moment? It's, uh, it's after 12 in the morning, Jamaica time. Hey. Okay, it's a very, it's a feel good, very, very early <laughs> breakfast show. Thanks for waking up for us. Let's focus on the anthem very quickly now. Jamaica, land we love. Uh, your national anthem sounds yeah. like a prayer, in my opinion. So, um, you know, it that's is a prayer. It, it sounds so beautiful. What are some of the lines of the anthem that really stand out for you? Some of the lines that you said, Eternal Father, bless our land, guide us with Thy mighty hand, and you said, keep us free from evil power. That means keep us from all evil power. So that means um, when, when you're singing the anthem or you're repeating it, you're saying a prayer for guidance, for protection. Absolutely. That's Beautiful, Beautiful, man. Really. Errol, I, I, I spoke about this a bit earlier, and I was very fortunate. Um, I think it was maybe back in 20, uh, 2018 to have visited Jamaica. I went to Ocho Rios, Kingston. Where wow. in Jamaica are you from? I'm from Ocho Rios, the no. best part of Jamaica. Hundred <laughs> percent, it is beautiful. So, and I mean, Jamaica has so many mountains. They have rainforests, beautiful reef-lined beaches. If someone wanted to go, like Carl, I know you've. you've I would not love been. to go to Jamaica, honestly. He would love to go. <laughs> what are some of the best places to visit in the country? All right, some of the best places to visit. Well, Ocho Rios, uh, it has most of the attractions in Jamaica and the Caribbean. Uh, I go pretty fast with some of these attractions. You have Blue Hole, you got Duns River, you got Mystic Mountain, Dolphin Cove, you've got Bob Marley Museum just on the outskirts of Ocho Rios. Um, you've got the Fire Water, which is over in St. Asbury. And there are many other attractions that when you come to Ocho Rios, you have, if you're there for a week, you got something to do every day. And, and we also have the cruise ship in port, which is in wow. Ocho Rios. So most persons, even if they're staying in Montego Bay in the grill, Kingston to enjoy yourself, you got to come over to Ocho Rios and a beautiful beach. That sounds, you have a, a, honestly, <laughs> sounds magical. Uh, and the thing is, the great thing is that I'm the statue. I could fit into luggage. It could actually work out for me. Uh, but it, it really sounds absolutely majestic, and I'd love to visit. I know there's so much more to tell, but. And the good food. I can't, I can't leave out the food, like the jerk chicken on the jerk pork. Oh, yes, the please. The festivals and the ackee and the saltfish. You see, that's the thing. We actually made some jerk chicken a little earlier, and the smell is still in the studio as we speak, which is the best see. thing ever. It's one of my favorites. But, Errol, thank you very much for giving us our first piece, the first little taste of Jamaica. I mean, when it comes to travel, the only thing as exciting as visiting the top spots is actually tasting the delicious food, as you mentioned, Errol. So we'll be back with you in a second. But first, food, please. Food. food. It's my feel-good breakfast show. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show here on S3. Of course, we are continuing our travel talk this morning, sailing all the way to Jamaica mm -hmm. with our tour guide this morning, Errol Bowen. Are you still with us? I am right here. We love to hear that. Great, Errol. OK, it's, it's actually quite nice because you can see us now. A little earlier, you couldn't see us, but now, you know, you get to look at Cape Tonians. I've seen, seen you crystal clear. Yes, <laughs> that's it. OK, perfect. Now, I know it's after 12 o'clock midnight, in fact, uh, so thanks a lot for taking the time to chat to us. Let's learn a bit more. Now, a quick language lesson. This is quite important because uh, the entire show, all we can say is, yeah, man, yeah, man. 
Yeah, what a what? We, need, we need to open our vocabulary a bit. So what are the most uh, sort of common phrases for sort of a tourist to know in the country of Jamaica? Like, what should we know if we go there? What will set us uh, into a, like a sort of a good space so people can say, let me help this person? All right. Um, if we say wagwan, that means what's happening. Wagwan. Uh, all right, the Jamaican dialect. The Jamaican dialect, it's like text message where you cut it short and it means the same thing. So you, you might be <laughs> looking for a direction and you say, where can I find this? In, you cut it short and you say, me I go down this, I am going down there. Or can I help you? Um, in Jamaican dialect, we say, me can, me can help you. Me na, um, me can you go over this, I'm going over there. So it's, it's the broken English and it's like text message. So most things in Jamaica, you always hear Yaman, that means, is everything all right? Instead, say yes, you say Yaman. And then more, another thing again, it's uh, one of the main things you're gonna hear, no problem. Most of the time I'm doing a tour and uh, passengers might ask me, oh, I'm hearing a lot of people say no problem. Is there no problem in Jamaica? I wait for a couple of seconds sometimes and I said, sure, we got so much problem to do with, deal with in Jamaica. We say no problem, man. <laughs> and when we say man, it doesn't mean we're being disrespectful to the female, but it's just right across the board where we use man right across the board, whether male or female. Wow. Uh, this is so great. interesting, right? And, and I love the fact that, I mean, uh, there are versions, you know, colloquialisms and languages, there's always a cutoff in certain things. Because you'll know what someone's talking about, you know, What's and that? I think that's the, the beautiful bridges yeah. that we find in language. So, yeah, wagwan. I like it. Something that I find interesting, and I, I know some people might not even know this, is that Rastafarianism is an actual religion in your country. Maybe tell us a bit more about that and what Rastafarians actually believe in. All right, um, Rastafarian, yes, it is a religion. Um, the Rastafarian, uh, way back in the 60s, um, since the 60s, they actually um, have a religion where, as a matter of fact, in today's day, you have, uh, you have, you have, uh, Fashion dread, and you have Rastafarian. A Rastafarian like Bob Marley, when they're around, um, they don't go. They don't. Uh, you will ne never find a Rasta Rastafarian go to the hairdressing uh, salon to get their hair groomed. They do their hair themselves. Uh, the, the, they actually the marijuana that they smoke, the chillon pipe. They it's a part of their religion, and they said Eli Selassie from Ethiopia. It's actually their god. He actually came here in the latter part of the 60s, and a lot of persons actually thought, um, because he's, he's from the tribe of David, so they thought that he is their king. But um, today, as I said before, that a lot of persons who grow their ear doesn't mean that they're Rastafarian. Some of them is just for style, but a real Rastaman, he, uh, he doesn't eat meat, he, he's a vegetarian. You'll never find him going to Burger King or Kentucky. <laughs> Good to know, good to know. It's very good to know. And I know there's a lot more facets to it and we can definitely delve into that. Uh, but I, I wanted to just stop uh, for a second and say, you know, that Jamaica celebrated Independence Day on the 6th of August, I believe. And I'd love to get that's a... That's right, or, 50, or 59 on April, um, Independence. Oh, that's, you see, and it's such a beautiful thing to celebrate. I didn't want to, um, you know, sort of skip this. So can you give us a quick history lesson about that special day and how yeah, man, uh, everybody uh, celebrates? A quick history about Jamaica. I'll, I'll do it pretty, pretty fast. That uh, They said back in, in 1494, Christopher Columbus discovered Jamaica where he did not discover Jamaica because when he came, the Arawak Indians or the Tahinos there were already settlers on the island. So Christopher Columbus went back to Spain, came back in 1503, and the Spanish started to rule Jamaica. They are the one who actually started the slave trade. But back in 1655, the English and the Spanish had a battle for Jamaica for three years. And back in 1658, the English started to rule Jamaica. And back in 1962, we got our, our independence, where we changed the, the, the flag of England, and we got our Jamaican flag. And now we're a sovereign country. We have our own election and our own sovereign government. And Jamaica, it's located uh, right between North America and South America because uh, from Jamaica to Florida, it's just an hour and a half by flight. And Colombia is to the south of Jamaica, Haiti is to the east, and the Cayman Islands is to the west. Errol, you were wow. undoubtedly the best person to speak to today with regards to Jamaica. Yeah. I need to c come back to the beautiful country. Carl needs to go, but we want to say thank you so much for your time this morning. And staying it's up all, all night, staying up all night. Another thing about before we go, yes. that uh, Jamaica, uh, the people, they're very warm. And uh, we love to entertain our visitors to make sure 
that they will come again and tell their other friends. It's all about the, the nature, the, 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 um, the craft. Not only forget, I don't want to forget Usain Bolt, but everybody knows about <laughs> Usain Bolt. He, he, he carries the map of Jamaica and the local people. We just love our visitors and make sure that they're satisfied and they're happy. Sold. How's that? Yeah, yeah, we could be on our way. We're on our way. We have to. We're running, like we're saying, Bolt, to your yes. country right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you okay. very much, Errol, for joining us and, and for also staying up that late to, to chat to us here in South Africa. We do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, Jamaica, the land we love, of course. And we are falling in love with it today. If you want to know Wagwan with Jamaica, you are in the right show. So uh, thanks a lot to Errol and so much more to see and do. So make sure the Caribbean Islands is on your bucket list of experiences and you will not regret it.